If we have a severe, profuse postpartum bleeding, there are a few things which are very important to remember. Never ever put the IV needle first. That's an error in management. The first thing is to stop the bleeding. And we're now going to demonstrate one method by which you can stop almost all life-threatening bleedings from the uterus. And therefore we're going to do the bimanual compression of the abdominal artery. This is an external compression. It has nothing to do with the bimanual uterine compression, which is less important to use, but you should use the external one while another one is preparing the vagina for the tamponade technique. So the first thing to uh, consider when you make the compression of the abdominal aorta is to remember the anatomy of the aorta. At the umbilical level, we have the branch of the common iliac artery on the right side, on the left side. And from each of the sides, we have the internal iliac artery branching to the uterine artery. You must check if this woman in shock or close to shock has any pulsation in the inguinal area. And then we put our four fingers parallel with the inguinal ligament. And very often these women having bled excessively with a very weak pulse. The fist should be closed with the thumb outside, not inside, because then you have a very strange configuration of the fist. The thumb should be outside in order to create the right 90 degree angle between the meta metacarpal bones and the digital bones, the first one. So we use that as an instrument by which we can approach the bifurcation and have the arm perpendicular to the umbilicus. So by putting my f closed fist like that, very s softly, I can go down Now I feel the aorta, the pulsation. You can see my elbow, and I can see my hand going up according to the pulsations of the aorta. Now I go a bit further, and down. Now I can no longer feel the pulsation in, in the inguinal area, which means that every circulation from, from this level is stopped and the vagina is basically bloodless. I can ask an assistant to go into the vagina to put the tamponade and fill the tamponade to stop the bleeding. And if, if the, when the, the tamponade is there, I can lift my fist to see that everything is all right. There is no bleeding down there. Something is, which is very important here is to really check the femoral pulse and not to rush to put the fist there because you don't know if you are really blocking or not blocking the aorta. So that is the controlling hand, so therefore we call it a bimanual maneuver. We have nothing in the vagina, we are not compressing the uterus, but we are pressing the, on the aorta and we are checking in the inguinal area. Because this woman has had, until yesterday, a very, very distended abdominal wall, so it's very easy to, to make the, the compression. That's one thing. She is very often unconscious or drowsy or not all right because she is in pre-shock or in shock, so she doesn't feel a resistance when I make this, this um, exercise. The third thing is that the pressure, the arterial pressure in the aorta is very um, low. It can be 60, 70 or 100. So it's very easy to actually, with the bone structure of the fist and the vertebral column below, to make a compression between two bony structures. And this 
sort of elastic tubing of the aorta is easily compressed so there will be no blood below that level. Of course, there is collateral circulation, so some blood will come down here. And since the woman is drowsy and not very conscious, she doesn't suffer from this intervention. But you can keep on to make this compression for hours in a transport referral, for instance, in an ambulance. You can keep the, the, the fist on, and you can, if you're tired, you can go to the other side, and you can have different people hanging on the aorta. The only thing happening in the leg area is that you have a sort of feeling of, you used to say, soda water feeling of, of, of small paresthesias in the legs, but there is nothing dangerous about this. You can keep on for hours to do that if the woman is nearly bleeding. But that is what we mean by saving a woman's life by controlling the blood loss. And when we have done that, then it's time to put the IV needle, never before.